walking the trace 2023. We're currently on the side of the trace. We've already had one hiccup, you could say. Um, our never fail diesel failed. We don't know what happened. It's not happy. It was in limp mode. And uh, that put us a couple minutes behind. So we're gonna meet everybody uh, on up the trace about 10 miles. Thankfully the Apache's done okay. We've only had one hiccup with it. The door hatch was not happy, but you know, I can deal with that later. So far it's running good. We did do a transmission flush last night. It is shifting better, so that's good. But so far, I mean, this truck's pretty solid. Uh, we've got 2,500 miles on it so far and it's run really good. So hoping that continues today. For those of you who don't know, Truck in the Trace is an annual event that we do with our C10 Club and it is a completely free event. It is gorgeous. We do it every fall. We meet up at the Loveless Cafe usually, although this year we missed it due to some mechanical issues with our pit truck, but that's okay. Uh, we meet up on the Trace. We drive 170 miles down to Tupelo. There's about 60, 70, 80 trucks. I, can't, I lost count at this point. It grows every year and we cruise down the, the Natchez Trace. It's absolutely beautiful this time of year, and it's just so fun to get together. We stay a couple nights, we have our annual traditions that we do in Tupelo, and then we meet up at a show uh, with all the other C10 clubs around the South. What is up guys, we're back. We are in Tupelo, Mississippi for Truck in the Trace 2023. And we're about to walk around and show you what we got. This year it's hosted at Cadence Bay Arena. <laughs> so we're in a new spot this year. Um, it's a beautiful day and we're excited to show you some new rides. How excited are you for Truck in the Trace? I've already trucked half the trace and uh, it was really nice. Only got missed it on a little bit. Um, today is about as perfect weather you can get for a car show, so definitely not complaining. For those of you who don't know, this is not like a real show. It's more like a cruising meetup, but it is GM trucks only, so we love it. Yeah, it's the end of the year, end of the show season show for the Southeastern C10 guys, so we all meet up here in Tupelo and it's our third year. I think they've been doing it for four and it's just it's a good time. C10, ten, ten of, of Tennessee, you got Louisiana, Kentucky, Georgia, Louisiana, Georgia, Alabama. It's like everyone from the South kind of comes in and meets up you here. You might say so. Southeast. Yeah, Southeast, exactly. But it's real chill, so it's nice. I don't know who owns this truck. Actually, I do. I met him two years ago. But this truck is what really inspired my truck and me wanting a, a truck in general. And I thought I wanted to recreate this exact truck because when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh. And it comes every year. And every year I come over and I drool at it. It's just so pretty. Do you remember my reaction when I saw this? Yes, I just probably spent 20 grand. <laughs> Turned out to be a lot more. No joke, 
I really tried to buy it off this guy, but he wasn't parting with it. And I understand why. This truck has my heart for real. It has all of the mementos to Texas and I absolutely love it. Let me show you. For everyone that keeps calling my truck orange, this is orange. My truck is red, this is orange. And it's beautiful. I like the orange. But can't you tell the difference? Is that what I think it is? That's a 58, four by four. This is our brethren, the test force for reals. We got a shark fin badge. It's very yellow. Definitely not losing it in the parking lot. No, we're not. It's taller than my truck. It's four by four. Is it lifted or is this how To be honest with you, Steph, this is how tall yours feels to me. No, <laughs> but ours is not this tall. Ours was this tall when we originally did the frame swap. And we had to actually put a lowering kit on it because I didn't like it so tall. But I think this actually looks really cool. Just feel a connection when I see another Apache out in the wild. Me too. It doesn't I mean, happen very often, I but... I one too, and it's usually like me bleeding or rust falling in my eyes. It just takes me back to that. Task Force time. gang. Not usually an S10 girly, but that's pretty cool. This blazer made me sick last year. It was for sale. I begged Michael to buy it for me. I think he wanted 90 grand for it. So, and we were still building out my Apache. Obsessed. Can we buy in? You guys, I love it. It's right up my alley. Michael, I'm sick over that blazer. Get on sick. Absolutely sick over it. I know my Apache's not even done yet, but I am slowly becoming a blazer girly. I want a blazer. If you get a 3100, then the next thing we're doing is a blazer. That's not how that works. 70s. Is that how that works? Deal? No. What do you think? Are we gonna have a blazer in our future? Uh, it's not off the table. Okay, last year he said it was off the table, and this year he said it's not off the table. Mm. I'm telling you, I'm chipping away. Chip, chip, slowly, chip it slowly. away. Now we found the I owner of the blazer that I am obsessed with, and I just asked him if I could I'm ask him a few questions, and he agreed. What is your name, sir? Uh, Howard Kimbrough. Where are you out of? Uh, Olive Branch, Mississippi. Right here, Mississippi. There's a bunch of boys out of Olive Branch. Got some rides. You guys, you're like us down at Murfreesboro. There's a little, yeah, little huddle of some yeah, rides kind of still all there. These right here, yeah. of, of all of our friends. So, this is kind of a unique uh, build here because number one, they didn't make a six seven blazer they did so what is this it's actually a 72 72 blazer and it is as you can see convertible mint. convertible literally um, mint and also mint condition yes 503 503 503, 503, 503, 503 light green 503 and light uh green. it's beautiful i love the combination with the brown and you said you guys built this a couple years ago well it's a this a year old actually cruising the coast this past year first year we had it out so it's one year old okay awesome yeah. so what's the drivetrain in this thing it's got a ls3 in it ls3 okay so 62 4l80 4l60 4l60 yeah. and uh he's got a lot of cool stuff here on the interior i noticed and i heard you talking with another gentleman you got a little smaller back seat which i think is neat because you can actually see the the color of the wheel wells That's right. and it shows it a little more so uh any any special features you got factory ac cab it looks like yes it is factory ac cab and uh looks like some maybe dakota digitals it is and, dakota digitals and, uh, all the fancy stuff so 
What made you guys go with the K5? What what started the interest? Well, we just we have some C10s and the Suburban, and I, I started on one, and I built one right here for my friend, and but it was a four-wheel drive, and we wanted a two-wheel drive, and we just kind of I've always liked them, but trying to find one that's in pretty good shape to build. So, right. Uh, that's what we want. You know, we just love to have the two-wheel drive. What's your favorite part of the truck? I like, I think the color combinations. I, I think the color combinations. Me and my wife and uh, Chris Snowden sat down with this deal and, and really worked kind of hard on color combinations, what we wanted to do. And I think it worked out pretty good. It's been a pretty good hit, everybody. And this color, it's like, I love this color, but it only works on this generation. That's right, that's right. Like this with the white and the brown yeah, yeah. is just everything. Exactly. Got some chrome bumpers. I mean, it's just, to me, that's the 67, 72. That's right. If you're gonna do it, that's the color. That's the color. Yeah. So, well, beautiful yeah. truck. We appreciate Thank you, you so much. With us. There's nothing that I like more than just a classic, clean, simple square. And I've seen several of them today. Here's an 80s school. Kind of looks like Barry, Michael's truck. But you guys know I love red, and especially on the square body. It's really clean. I love the stance. I love the rallies. Very tastefully done. <laughs> I have begged Michael to get me just a simple square body. Simple, clean, square body. You know what he says? No. That's what he says. What do you have to say for yourself? She's got her truck. Let's see, but that's a toy. I need a driver. I thought we were doing a driver. I'm we can drive right our now. toy, but I want like an everyday or, you know, maybe one day. For those of you who've been following for a while, Michael loves 3100s. We stop and look at every single one, no matter the condition. This one appears to be pretty stock, which I personally love. Oh, look at the hope caps. Original. I'm a fan. This is why I love this show, because these kind of rides are like exactly what I'm into. Stock, we got the white walls. Love the hub caps. It's got the original motor, it looks like. I don't know if it's the original, but that's what would have come in it. I love the stance. I love the white walls, I love the white bumper. This is literally so nice. See, if Michael got a 3100, this is how I would want him to restore it. And I know for a fact, he would not do that. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> I love that though. Well, you got your truck. Ugh, I know. Back to ruining hey, the, your you previously got, scheduled program. You got yours too though, no, with Barry. That was a that We was restored a them situation. to be the classic way that they looked from the factory. Uh -huh. That's what we do here. Okay. Now this is more what mine's gonna look like under the hood. Quick little twin turbo 6.0. You're telling me this thing will go? Uh, you're probably sitting at like 1,200 horse. That's it, huh? See the race wheels? <laughs> That's it, only 1,200 horse. Wow. Look what they did to the hood to make the turbos fit. That's custom, baby. Definitely custom. <laughs> Got a classic Snowden inside. Hey, I have the same seat. Love the chocolate brown, this is nice. Michael's beelining it for the 3100s. Someone back there, right here, with this black one. 
caught his eye. Thoughts? It just makes me sick at this point. That's pretty factory for you. Yeah, I mean, but what would happen when it got home? I Jameson, hope, tell, hope, tell the camera what would happen, Jameson. I hope we would keep it factory. Jameson, what would happen? What was that? It would get adjusted just a little bit. To be fair, we don't know what was under the hood. Don't need to, it gonna change too. This is more likely what's gonna happen to mine. LSA. Yeah, this looks more like what Michael would do. I meant more the engine, but yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, we made our rounds. We have gone through everything. I've trucked the trace. There has been a lot of the same trucks. I tried to find different ones. That's for good you though. Guys. People keep coming back. Yeah, I think yeah, the show is growing. Is I definitely like this venue a lot better. We're right in downtown Tupelo. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, that three-mile commute to the other place is just inconvenient. <laughs> really. Touche. But we are signing out from Tupelo. Thanks, you guys, for tuning in. This was Baby Crew Rides, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.